have Zora Neale Hurston's Dust Tracks on the Road. <laughs> How appropriate. <laughs> Mama exhorted her children at every opportunity to jump at the sun. Now, you may not land on the sun, but at least you would get off the ground. Now, Papa told another story. He was not quite as hopeful. His motto was, leave well enough alone. It does not do for Negroes to have too much spirit. He was always trying to threaten me to break mine or kill me in the attempt. Mama had to always stand between us. And she conceded that I was a little fresh mouth and given to talking back. But she didn't want to squinch my spirit for fear that I may turn out to be some mealy mouth rag doll by the he time I got home. He was always predicting dire things for me. The white folks weren't going to stand for it. I'd be hung by the time I got grown. Somebody was going to blow me down because of my sassy tongue. My sister, she was meek and mild. Always got along. Why couldn't I be more like I may be the only Negro in the entire United States of America whose grandfather on the mother's side is not an Indian <coughs> chief. Listen, I am not tragically colored. There's no great sorrow damned up in my soul, not lurking behind my eyes. I do not mind at all. I do not belong to the sovereign school of Negrohood that holds that nature has dealt us a low-down, dirty deal, and whose feelings are all hurt about it. In the Helter Skelter, Skirmish, that is my life. I have seen that the world is to be strong regardless of a little pigmentation, more or less. No, I do not weep at the world. I am too busy sharpening my horse tonight. I am off to a flying start, and I shall not halt in the stretch to look behind and weep. Slavery is the price I paid for civilization. Mine. And the choice wasn't easy. It has been a belly adventure and well worth all that my ancestors paid. There is nobody on this earth who has a better chance for glory. Everything is to be won, and nothing is to be lost. I find it thrilling to think, note to note, that for every act of mine, I shall get twice the praise or twice the blame. It is exciting to take my place on the national stage with spectators not knowing whether to laugh or to weep. This is what it feels like to be colored me. <laughs>